Hello, my dear friends. It's time to practice. This is American English File, Second Edition, Book Two, Workbook, Part 10B. You could do better. Part One, Vocabulary, School Subjects. Everybody, Exercise A. Match the school subjects and the questions. For example, look, Foreign Languages. C. How do you say thank you in Portuguese? Right? Exercise B. Match the questions in A with the answers. For example, look. Number one. Buenos Aires. Right? H. What's the capital of Argentina? All right. You know the drill. Stop the video. Take your time and do it yourself. Very good. Now check your answers with your friends. Mm -hmm. All right. You know the drill. Let's do it together, right? Now, number two, geography. H. What's the capital of Argentina? Number three, history. E. For example, when did Abraham Lincoln die or pass away? Number four, literature. B. Who wrote Macbeth? Number five, math. A. What's 15 times 99? Number six, physical education or PE. F. How many miles is eight laps around a standard track? And number seven, science. I. What's the chemical symbol for water? H2O, right? Number eight, information technology or simply IT. D. How do you select a program? And the last one, art. G. Right? Who painted three musicians? Right? Now the answers. For example, for part B. Pablo Picasso. G. Who painted three musicians? Number three, obrigado. C. How do you say thank you in Portuguese? Number four, 1,485. A. What's 15 times 99? Number five, William Shakespeare. Which question is that? B. Who wrote Macbeth? And number six, H2O, as I told you, I. What's the chemical symbol for water? H as in hydrogen and O as in oxygen, right? Number seven, two miles. F. How many miles is eight laps around a standard track? Right? And click on the icon. It's for, I think, information technology. D, right? How do you select a program? And the last one, number nine, 1865. E. When did Abraham Lincoln die or pass away? Well done. A very good start. Let's move on. Okay. It's time for some grammar. Everyone used to or used to. Right? A. Complete the sentences with the correct form of used to and the verb phrase. For example, look number one. Did you used to be a good student? Right? Exercise B. Correct the mistakes in the highlighted phrases. For example, look. I used to sit at the back of the class. As always, stop the video, take your time, do it yourself. Very good. Now check your answers with your friends. Okay, let's do it together. Number two, I didn't used to behave very well. Number three, we used to wear a uniform at school. Number four, did Alex used to have a nickname to school? Number five, the students didn't used to study IT when I went to school. It's a new subject. Number six, her school used to be a same-sex school, but now it's co-ed, co-education, boys and girls in the same place. Number seven. We didn't used to play basketball in PE, physical education. And the last one. Did your teachers used to give you a lot of homework? Oh, yes, they did. Yes, they did. I feel, I felt that. And let's go to exercise B. Number two. He used to go to school on Saturday mornings, right? Number three, 
We didn't use to understand our Spanish teacher. Next one. Did you used to go to school by bus? Number five. The school used to start at 9, but now it starts at 8.30, right? And number six. Did your friends used to help you with your homework? Well done. It was perfect. Part three. Pronunciation. Used to, didn't used to. Now, do you remember? We don't say used to. We say used to, didn't used to, right? American style. Everybody, listen and repeat. Copy the rhythm. Let's do it. File 10B. Pronunciation. 1. I used to be good at math. 2. We used to hate the teacher. 3. She didn't used to like school. 4. They didn't used to wear a uniform. 5. Did you used to play soccer and P.E.? 6. Did your school used to open in the summer? Very well. You did great. Outstanding performance. All right, it's time for reading. My school days. David Suchet, actor, played Hercule Poirot in the TV series of Agatha Christie Murder Mysteries, interviewed by Tim Oglethorpe. Everybody, I need you to read this interview. Write the questions in the correct place. This is your gig. I'm gonna wait for you. A few moments later. All right, you're back. So let's read it together. Where did you go to school? Granham House, a boarding school in Kent, and Wellington School, a private school in Somerset. All right, what's the next question? What's the most important lesson you learned at school? One thing my school days did teach me was, to, was the importance of teamwork. Oh, very important. At boarding school, I was an outsider and I was really, truly unhappy there. When I started playing sports at Grenham's house, I became a member of a team and I felt a lot better about myself. Like sports, acting is also almost always a team event and you rely just as much on other people as they do on you. All right. What's the next question, everyone? Yes. Did you ever behave badly? Yes, I did. My brother and I both went to the same school and sometimes we used to break the rules. In private schools at that time, a common punishment used to be the cane. A long stick that the teacher used for hitting naughty boys. All right. I guess everywhere we had, we had the cane. Next question. What subjects were you good at? Well, I wasn't very academic at all, really. And I was really bad at math. Luckily for me, I was really good at sports. And that's the only reason they accepted me at Wellington. I was on the school rugby team and I also played tennis. I played at Wimbledon once in the junior tournament and I got through to the second round. All right, number five. What did you want to do when you left school? Hmm. Although I was good at sports, I never really considered taking it up professionally. Once I left Wellington, I wanted to become an actor and I didn't play as many sports when I left school. And last question. Did you have a favorite teacher? Yes. My favorite teacher was Mr. Store, coach of the school tennis team and also my English teacher. One day when I was 14 and 15 or 15, I had to read in class. After the class, he said to me, the way you read suggests you might enjoy acting. Would you consider playing Macbeth in the school play? And that was the beginning of my acting career. And I've never looked back since. All right, you did great. But we're not done yet. I need you to read the reading again and mark the sentences true or false. Again, it's time for me to wait. Do it. A few minutes later. All right, you're back again. Now check your answers with your friends. Good. 
Number one is done, but let's read it together. He thinks it's important to work together with others. The teamwork, right? True. Number two, David didn't always enjoy his first school. It's true. Number three, David wanted to be a tennis player when he left school. Of course, it's false. He and his brother used to behave well. False. In the past, the teacher could hit students with a stick. True, and some still do, right? <laughs> Number six, David didn't used to be a very good student. True. Number seven, he only got into Wellington because he was good at sports. True. And the last one, Mr. Store taught math and coached the tennis team. False. Well done. Now, one last thing, everybody, there are some highlighted words. For example, boarding school, rely on, punishment, naughty, my acting career. Check them in your Google Translate or your dictionary and teach it to your partner. This is on you. Do it. And all the way to part five, listening. Everyone, listen to two people talking about language learning in schools, the things that you're doing, language learning, right? Were Tony and Amy good at languages when they were at school? All right, listen and answer. File 10B, listening. Amy, did you study foreign languages in high school? Yes, I did. Actually, I used to be really good at languages. Which ones did you study? Well, I took French for five years, and then I took Japanese for six years, and I studied Spanish for a year during my lunch break. And how much French can you remember? Not much, but I can remember my Japanese because I took it for my degree in college. Why all the questions, Tony? Well, I've just read this article about the state of language learning in schools in the U.S., and it isn't looking good. It says that adults only remember about seven words from the languages they studied at school. Only seven words? That isn't very good, is it? What kinds of words do they remember? Common words like hello, goodbye, please, thank you, one, two, and three, and the question, do you speak English? So, what happens when people are abroad? Do they practice the language? Not at all. In fact, the article suggests that people often choose not to go on vacation to countries where they have to worry about language problems. That's probably because they're too lazy to learn a language. No, it isn't that. The article says it's because they're too embarrassed to try and speak it. Okay, so which languages do students study in school today? Hang on a minute. There's a list here somewhere. Here it is. It says 50% of students study Spanish, 25% study French, 22% study Japanese, and 2% Russian. Arabic is becoming more popular, too. And what are schools going to do about the problem? Well, first of all, they're going to introduce language classes for children in elementary schools. And then they're going to start offering languages from around the world. For example, Mandarin Chinese and Urdu. That sounds difficult. Anyway, Tony, which languages did you used to study at school? Only French. And I was terrible at it. Right. So, let's address the question, were Tony and Amy good at languages when they were at school? The answer to that is, Amy was good at languages at school, but Tony wasn't. Great. Now, we're not done yet. Listen again and circle the correct answer. For example, number one, Amy studied Japanese the longest, right? Okay, listen and circle. File 10B, listening. Amy, did you study foreign languages in high school? Yes, I did. Actually, I used to be really good at languages. Which ones did you study? Well, I took French for five years, and then I took Japanese for six years, and I studied Spanish for a year during my lunch break. And how much French can you remember? Not much, but I can remember my Japanese because I took it for my degree in college. Why all the questions, Tony? Well, 
I've just read this article about the state of language learning in schools in the U.S., and it isn't looking good. It says that adults only remember about seven words from the languages they studied at school. Only seven words? That isn't very good, is it? What kinds of words do they remember? Common words like hello, goodbye, please, thank you, one, two, and three, and the question, do you speak English? So, what happens when people are abroad? Do they practice the language? Not at all. In fact, the article suggests that people often choose not to go on vacation to countries where they have to worry about language problems. That's probably because they're too lazy to learn a language. No, it isn't that. The article says it's because they're too embarrassed to try and speak it. Okay. So which languages do students study in school today? Hang on a minute. There's a list here somewhere. Here it is. It says 50% of students study Spanish, 25% study French, 22% study Japanese, and 2% Russian. Arabic is becoming more popular too. And what are schools going to do about the problem? Well, first of all, they're going to introduce language classes for children in elementary schools, and then they're going to start offering languages from around the world. For example, Mandarin Chinese and Urdu. That sounds difficult. Anyway, Tony, which languages did you use to study at school? Only French, and I was terrible at it. All right. Again, check your answers with your friends. Okay, let's start from number two. Amy can remember one language more than the others because she studied it in college, right? Number three, adults remember some numbers from their language classes, all right? Number four, according to Tony, some people are too uncomfortable to speak a foreign language. Number five, Spanish is more popular than French. And the last one, in the future, schools will make younger students learn languages. Well done. You did great. And that is the lesson for today. Well done, everyone. You did great. Remember, consistency is the key. Yes, motivation is good, but discipline takes you to the next level. See you.